Hi guys, Mark here. So I got a question from someone who has what they described as a pot belly with abs, okay? So they're 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 quite lean, okay, but their belly is bulging in the front and it said that their lower back is excessively rounded. Okay? Now if you look at the, the human spine, okay, what it's supposed to do is you know, cover in the slight lordosis just at your neck, then a thoracic kyphosis and a lumbar lordosis again, okay? Now this should all be fairly slight, but what he's describing is he's an excessive lordosis in his lower back. So what this is called is a hyperlordosis really, and it's relatively easy to fix once it's caused by muscular imbalances, okay? So if you've got some other condition um, causing this, you might want to see your doctor first, but if it is muscular imbalance, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. Um, so what's causing it really is tight muscles, okay? So your lower back, is overpowering your abdominal, your your abs, okay, your rectus abdominals, um, and your quadriceps and hip flexors are probably overpowering your hamstrings, so it's tilting your pelvis, your sorry, your pelvis like that, and that's what's causing the roundness really, okay. So what you want to do is tilt it back to where it's supposed to be. Now what you want to do is stretch out the tight muscles first, okay. Well, not first. You want to do both things at the same time, but you're going to stretch out the tight muscles, so that's your hip flexors, your quads, and your lower back. Okay, so you can do this with static stretching, uh, foam rolling, dynamic stretching, whatever you want to do. Once your flexibility is increasing over time, you should probably do a combination of, you know, multiple different things. Okay, and try to squat with good foam too. Um, and you want to strengthen the the weak muscles, so that's your abs and your hamstrings. <coughs> Sorry, something going on with my voice today. <laughs> um. So yeah, strengthen your abs and your hamstrings, okay? So glute ham raises, you know, crunches, hanging leg raises, uh, the ab wheel, anything like that. Once your core strength is going up and your hamstring strength, okay? So as I said, glute ham raises, you know, stiff leg deadlift, normal deadlift, um, but they are gonna help strengthen your back too, but you know, it'll still help you over time, okay? Once you're working on your flexibility. Um, and squatting with good form, okay? Learning to squat properly will really help you add a little strengthen your core and all the muscles in the legs in one go, okay? So it'll, it'll help your hamstrings catch up to your quads and then, you know, your strength will just go up linearly. So that is the gist of what you need to do. Um, I think I have, I think I've mentioned everything there. If you have any other questions, just comment below. And if you like the video, please click like. And if you want to subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate that. But thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.